If you've ever been warmed on a cold gray day by the sight of ducks on the horizon, if you've ever been startled by the roar of teal ripping through the air, or mesmerized by a mallard suspended in flight, if waterfowl have ever influenced your life, then North America's prairies have too. More waterfowl are hatched in the prairie pothole region of North America than any other place in the world, giving the region its nickname, the Duck Factory. The prairie pothole region spans some 300,000 square miles across southern Canada and the northern U.S. In 1938, DU conserved its first acre on Big Grass Marsh in Manitoba. Since then, we've conserved nearly five million acres in the vast pothole region. Yet the threats to the duck factory continue to mount. The region has lost 70% of its original grasslands and wetland losses continue across Prairie Canada. In the U.S. prairies, the problems are compounded by federal subsidy programs that make crop production more appealing to landowners. This is what I call my home. And this uh, area here I feel is not good quality land to be cropping in. But now with the, uh, the uh, latest market, uh, how grains have taken a hike in price, we see a lot of this being broke up again, the good native grass that we have here, which uh, Mother Nature provided us with, should stay that way. Once it's gone, it's gone. You're not going to get it back anymore. So if we all destroy it at this time, it will never be again. Modern advances in agriculture have enabled landowners to till property that was once impossible to convert. And once wetlands reside within cropland, there are growing pressures to remove that water and effectively destroy the habitat value for breeding ducks. The Wetlands for Tomorrow campaign really recognized um, that, that we have some urgency in, in the prairies and, and it's really for um, competing land uses. So there's a lot of demand to produce more food in the world and the prairies are really a breadbasket for that to produce wheat and corn and, and other crops. So we see conversion of our native grasslands and wetlands into agricultural lands. And there's also increasing demands to produce more of our energy domestically, so uh, energy production is also competing for some of that habitat for, for waterfowl. So that's, that's our biggest challenge, is securing enough habitat to maintain waterfowl why, while also taking care of these other needs that our country has. On the Canadian prairies, where provincial governments are responsible for policies to protect wetlands, there are many large challenges. Where wetland policies do exist, they're weak and in many cases poorly enforced when wetlands are drained. Canada needs improved agricultural policy at the federal level to support grassland-based agriculture and provide incentive payments for landowners to conserve wetlands. Fortunately, Ducks Unlimited remains committed to rescuing the duck factory. Our Wetlands for Tomorrow campaign brought renewed focus to DU's work on the prairies, and we're facing every challenge head on. From the halls of Congress and provincial legislative assemblies to the Missouri Coteau and Cypress Hills, Ducks Unlimited is working with partners on the ground, in public policy, and in science to secure the future of North America's duck factory. <laughs>